because what we have seen is an evolving understanding of the potential, particularly the rare side effects of this vaccine. We know what the immediate and, and less severe side effects of the vaccine are, you know, a day or two of chills and fevers and aches and pains and then people seem to be OK again. Um, but this more severe, potentially catastrophic side effect, mm. although rare, I think this is a really important question because isolation is really the best thing that we have to protect the community when somebody has tested positive for COVID-19. The other thing that we can do, which is such a simple thing, is to have everyone in the community in masks. Are you saying masks must be compulsory in New South Wales or in Sydney at least? We need to head towards them being compulsory. But of course we know with aerosol uh, transmission now, with airborne transmission, that wearing a mask is, is some of the best protection that you can have. You protect yourself, you protect others. There's been this nonsensical debate for months now which has been so frustrating because it just has not been evidence-based about wearing masks. It is one of the single most responsible things that we can do as members of the community to protect each other.